Hello, Internet people. So you got uh, an issue updating. You're getting SU 42118-6. The error that nobody seems to be able to fix. But I have got a possible solution. Um, now, if you're watching this, try and find other ways to do this. Because this is probably a last-ditch effort. This will reset your whole PlayStation. You will have to re-download games. Know your username and password for your uh, device. If you don't, what you can try doing is getting a USB and backing up everything. If... Uh, yeah, system update. Um, it's under storage. I believe. Nope. <laughs> Anyways, there's a way to down the backup and whatever. But regardless, I'm getting an error. Um, you're getting an error. Let's try and fix it. What we're going to start by doing is initializing to begin with. We're going to initialize the PlayStation. You can just go quick. Um, we're going to initialize. Deactivating, yeah. So, if you initialize, all users and data will be deleted from the PlayStation, yes. So, while that's happening, what we're going to do is go to the PlayStation's uh, network here, PlayStation.com or whatever. It's gonna bring you here. Go to Help. Go to System Updates. Under System Updates, PlayStation 4, obviously. And once you go to PlayStation 4, scroll all the way down until you see Perform a new installation of System Software. And you're going to download now this button here. It's gonna open file or it's going to download this is the file that you're going to download here it's going to be 980 megabits and that is the whole system software the whole brand new update you don't want to download um, this one here because it's only the 460 megabit update we want the whole system firmware all, all of it also, don't press this. That doesn't work. Um, once that's downloaded, get a USB stick. I would recommend not putting the same one that you have all your backed up files on. Um, and we're going to create a folder named PlayStation 4, then a folder inside that named Update, and then put that file that you downloaded, the 1 gigabit one, the 960 megabit, whatever, put that in there. <laughs> once that's finished, <laughs> You gotta wait for this to initialize. Um, while it's initializing, I'm gonna link a video in the description. Uh, it's this one here. He does a really good job of explaining how to take the PlayStation apart. All you have to do is kind of watch till the eight minute mark. Um, Cause what we're gonna do is take the PSU apart, pop that out. And, okay, here it's asking me to initialize. Uh, I'm going to go through these steps quick. Just cancel, skip. We don't need to do any of this. It doesn't really matter. Um, okay, start now. So, load it up. All right, fantastic. You've got a brand new user. Wonderful. At this point, you could um, try if you wanted to um, update, but you'd have to set it all up. Honestly, I found that it was a waste of time. It didn't work for me, um, but we all have different PlayStations. So what I'm gonna do now is turn off the PlayStation. Um, turn off the PlayStation, and we're gonna have to boot this into safe mode. So, yeah, 
Yeah, again, watch this guy's video, open up your PlayStation, get it to the point where you can take out the um, PSU easily. Um, don't do that. Don't take it out because we're obviously going to need to have the PlayStation open while it's on. Not a big deal. Um, I'm literally doing it right now. I have this right down to the motherboard. Now, to open up the uh, safe mode, we're going to press the power button and hold it until it beeps a second time. There we go. It's going to boot it in safe mode. Bingo. Controller connected. Obviously still initialize. What we're going to do is go to initialize PlayStation 4. I know we just did this, but we need to reinstall system software. And the best way to do that is just with a clean slate, not having to worry about anything else. It's not going to work for me because you got to plug in this guy here, USB stick. Yeah, it's going to give me this error. Let's try this again. So, with that one gigabit file in those folders, USB stick connected. Slowly and slowly and slowly. <sighs> now, once it finds the file, it should reboot. If you get a, if you get the error at this point, I would try to reinitialize. Um, if you get a different error, like could not find a file or file is not useful, you downloaded the wrong file. Download the one gigabit one, not this 460 megabit one. I'm going to pause. Um, once this waiting finishes, I'll be back. There we go. Okay. So at this point, um, you're going to initialize. PlayStation will initialize. Yes. So initializing. Now, this is the point where some of you may get an error. If you get an error, we're going to go to the next step. This might work for me, actually. Because um, I didn't actually, like, I, I uh, purposefully tried to set up this error. So this may work for me, but it should reboot into your, instead of safe mode, it should reboot into update system software, which should happen right now. Yes. So it's going to reboot. Again, you need to have your PlayStation open at this point. Have it open. It's going to reboot into, bam, system software update. But it should give me an error. It should give me an error here. Same with all of you folks that have this error. <laughs> all right, so it's working for me. It is working for me. If it works for you, fantastic, great, wonderful. If it doesn't, what you're going to have to do is these steps here. Once the SU error pops up, you're going to want to uh, not exit out of that, stay on that menu, but immediately unplug the PlayStation now that's not an issue because it's not 
installing any updates. There isn't any files being written to your hard drive. It's not going to corrupt anything. All it's going to do is turn off the PlayStation so that you can complete the following steps. You're going to take off the PSU, pop this up, follow the video, his instructions are great. Pop that up and this gray ribbon goes underneath and down under the PSU. Don't remove that. Double check that it's in all the way. Also double check that this here is pushed in all the way and that all of these other ribbons are all tight in there. They should have friction fit or this one clicks up like that. Click it up, push it in, click it back down while you're pushing. Apply light pressure to it. Again, push this one, this one's friction fit. There's one cable right here. Double check that that's plugged in on both sides of the cable. And after you have this pushed in, push the uh, PSU back in. Keep this pushed in, keep the bottom, make sure that the bottom is still pushed in, and then plug it back in. It should boot up to your error message again. If it boots up to your error message again, unplug this, plug it back in, and it should instantly restart and install the update. That's how I got this to initially work. Now here it obviously worked for me. I guess I'm just lucky, but... That should solve your SU42118-6 error. <sighs> Unfortunately, I can't show you that um, because my PlayStation is working. But I'll show you that this is the newest update, 6.02, that I just installed from 6.00, <laughs> which should be at least as of October, whatever today's date is. Update system storage, there you go. So, now it's just going through all the checks, and that should be it, guys. Um, if you have any questions, I'm always able to reply. Um, again, I know that you don't have to open this PlayStation up this much. I did because I was well, one, I don't have the case. <laughs> Half of the case is missing because it was from my buddy and he didn't know how to fix this problem. He had this issue from 4.5, whatever, a year and a half ago that he'd been trying to figure out and he just gave me the PlayStation. Um, and two, I needed to fix the uh, thermal paste on it. So here we go. This is booted back up now. So the act, interactive entertainment. And we can see that it's initialized and we have this all updated. So good luck if you have any questions. Yeah, anyways.